What's happening everybody? The Poets here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. This video is uh, going to be pretty quick. This is the AMD 7950X. So it is a Ryzen 9 processor, uh, part of the new 7000 series that just came out. It is physically different than the previous AM4 platform. So for this motherboard here, and please check out my previous uh, YouTube video, did a full like kind of a deep dive unboxing of the MSI Meg. X670E Ace motherboard here. It's an $800 motherboard, top of the line. Really like all the features, and it's definitely worthy of a processor like this. So the 7950X is 16 cores, 32 threads. Yes, it can game, but it's mainly for productivity. So it is gonna be top of the charts across the board for all kinds of things in the productivity world, uh, as well as the gaming world as well. Uh, but it is kind of a pricey platform to get into. Uh, I've had a lot of viewers ask me about the 7950X, my thoughts. So here we are. Let's uh, just go ahead and unbox it. I'm going to show you what it looks like and maybe even uh, pop it in the uh, MSI Meg X670E motherboard right here. So first off, let's just kind of crack this open. And there we go. So it folds out like this, kind of magnetic, which is nice. Yep, definitely magnetic. And we're gonna open it up like this for you. That's kind of nice, well thought out. It's got the kind of Ryzen logo right here. And then you just kind of peel this off. Nifty. And here we go. So this is the 79 50X, 16 cores, 32 threads. And the big thing is on the back because there's no pins. All the pins are over on the motherboard. And of course, there's the sticker. Got, you know, gotta have your stickers as well. Let's see if there's anything else in here. We have uh, uh, paperwork, text, which is cool, fine. This is a big box. I wanna know if anything else is in here. That's a lot of foam. Well, I guess uh, for shipping means, like you're not going to lose this box, which is pretty cool. Uh, it would be kind of concerning if this came into just like a slimmed down box and then it gets mixed in with envelopes. Like, so that's how tiny it is. Uh, I do like this uh, Ryzen logo right here. That's, that's a nifty touch. So this is one of those boxes that you actually may want to kind of keep and put on the shelf. Ryzen 9, advanced with AMD Ryzen right there. So kind of cool. So let's uh, get into this. So this is what this looks like. You'll notice that it has all these grooves right here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that they're putting into this uh, 7950X here. The IHS is actually really, really thick. That's one of the issues with the 7000 series because I guess they really tried hard to make a lot of the coolers as compatible uh, from AM4 to AM5. And they kind of failed with that in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's a good effort. Uh, these clips right here, if you have a cooler that was made to be put on these clips, then you'll be fine. But these things do kind of like wobble a bit. It's not the, the most stable thing. And a lot of AIO and like just air cooler manufacturers know that this is not the best way. So if they want to like be competitive, they do away with these and actually like screw their own backplate um, into the motherboards to get better performance. So it's going to be a mixed bag. You really need to do your research to know if your cooler is going to fit this. Now, I'm kind of excited because this is the first time I'll be doing this for AM5. Again, $800 motherboard, kind of expensive processor, so yeah. Now, this is definitely different because all the pins there, that's like 1,718 pins um, in, a, in a very small area. And this, let's open this up. Try not to drop this onto any of the pins. There we go. So that's pretty nice right there. And now the way that you want to do this is you'll notice that it has a nifty little focus man, nifty little uh, notch right here, not really notch, but a gold kind of triangle. And then a notch here and a notch on the bottom. So this kind of helps you realize where you need to align these. So you see a notch there, notch there, and they're offset more to the left as well. So we can just go ahead and drop this in here. Like literally just gonna drop it, wiggle it around. There you go. 
that's in there. Place this down. And then, there we go. And that's gonna pop off. So just kind of keep going. And there you go. So keep these plastic shields in your motherboard box because if you do remove this, you may wanna you know, attempt to put this back on to pr protect those uh, 1,718 pins that are on there. And then uh, make sure you do something special with your sticker as well. So it really is as simple as that. Um, I like the box, so I'm gonna put that on the shelf right up there. 16 cores, 32 threads, the Ryzen 7000 series, 7950X. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a beast. So I'm gonna do a lot of benchmarks and uh, I'll probably put a 3090 in here. I have uh, 64 gigs of Kingston Fury uh, Beast RAM DDR5 and it's uh, 6,000 mega transfers per second. It, it's, it's very nice RAM. And um, a bunch of Kingston Fury Renegade PCI Gen 4.0 NVMe drives. So I actually have four of those, two terabytes each, so eight terabytes. So I'm gonna probably throw these in here this one right here is PCI Gen 5.0. There's two 4.0s here and a 4.0 right here. So um, we don't have anything in hand right now, or I don't have anything in hand that can maximize the 5.0 slot, but this is gonna be a nice little build, basically. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions on this as I'm doing all these videos on the 7950X and the MSI Meg X670E Ace motherboard. Very expensive, $800 motherboard. Uh, which costs more than the processor, so that's kind of crazy. So uh, this also does come with this uh, piece, uh, Gen 5 uh, M.2 NVMe drive expansion slot, so it would actually go kind of on the bottom right here. So Gen 5, just absolutely nuts. So this motherboard is crazy, good, and appropriate for a 7950X processor. Top of the line from AMD right now on the traditional consumer grade, but uh, we do have potentially Threadripper, uh, the newer gen coming out end of next year. So that's gonna be something as well. Uh, I'm rambling, let's call it a day and uh, let me get to work on some more of this build. Let me know if you have any questions, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Share this video for those that are interested in the new Ryzen AM5 platform and uh, installing the 7950X. And of course, all the others are gonna be the same. Pins are on the motherboard, remember that. Peace.